Uh, let's talk about, uh, I've given false prophecies in the Bible. Now he mentions Isaiah chapter 53, it's a true prophecy. But actually, if it's a prophecy of Jesus, it's a false prophecy. Because it says, this servant shall see his seed. Did Jesus have seed? Did Jesus have children? It says, he did not, like a lamb led to the slaughter, he did not open his mouth. But Jesus not only opened his mouth on the cross, he blasphemed against God. He said, Elo, Elo, Lamasa Bakhtani, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? About Isaiah 53, notice in it, he says, See, Jews don't see Isaiah 53 as literal, they see it as, a poet, uh, as poetry. He says, oh, look who died for the sins of others. So he takes that part literally, but the part where it says, He shall see his seed, the Hebrew word is Zera, which always means physical seed in the Old Testament. That part Samuel doesn't want to take literally. So to make this prophecy fit Jesus, he picks and chooses the parts that... He likes. So Jesus cannot be the servant of Isaiah 53 because Jesus did not have children unless you believe in the Da Vinci Code. Do you, Samuel? No. Okay, so it's a false prophecy if it's a prophecy of Jesus. The servant of Isaiah 53 shall not open his mouth, yet Jesus opened his mouth and blasphemed on the cross. He claimed Isaiah 53 was a prophecy of Jesus, but if it is, it's a false prophecy unless Jesus had kids and unless Jesus did not open his mouth and blaspheme God. And Zerah means physical seed. It never means some kind of spiritual seed. It means you're going to have children. But Zerah means seed, offspring, physical, biological. Uh, there are some Christians. There's one guy on YouTube who attacks me. and goes, that's not true. Because in Isaiah 57, uh, the text is used, Zerah Sheker. I'm not kidding. There's one guy, YouTube, but he's up there. He says, Tovi, Rabbi Singer is a liar. Because Zerah can mean... Um, um, not physical children, but spiritual children, because the text says in Isaiah 57, uh, Zerah Sheker, which, which the King James, in many translations go, the seed of falsehood. Well, falsehood can't have children, right? Falsehood's a concept, can't have babies. Okay, but, but the problem, of course, is that it's flipped. In, in, in Hebrew, the adjective follows a noun, so therefore Zerah Sheker doesn't mean children's seed of falsehood, it means false seed, false children, children who you killed, children you corrupt, seed that you wasted under the terebinth tree. If you read it in context, literally talking about seed. In fact, there's no passage. So, so Jesus didn't have children. So actually, this never happens to Jesus. He has a relatively short life of about 30 years. If he lives forever because he's God, then these words don't even mean anything. What do you mean? Like God will live long? What do you mean live long? God is forever. So this can't be speaking about Jesus. And then God's, um, and then God's desire will become manifest and successful in your hand. Well, but you are God. It means actually, what your friend is bringing to bear demonstrates this must be speaking about a people who have free will, who could choose one or the other, and if they choose the correct direction, God will bless them with these manifold blessings. portion of the Christian people believe that Isaiah is referring to their choice for the Messiah. The Torah clearly says in order to be the Messiah, it has to be a Jewish man from the tribe of Judah. How does one qualify to be from the tribe of Judah? Two things, a Jewish mother and a father from the tribe of Judah. Now the man that they call the Messiah from their book 
Was his mother Jewish? Well, according to that book, yes, it says clearly her name was Mary, she was a Jewish woman. Now, is his father from the tribe of Judah? Well, what does that book say? Who is his father? I beg your pardon, who? A holy what? A ghost? His father was a ghost? I'm sorry, there are no ghosts in the tribe of Judah. So then who then was Isaiah speaking of as the suffering servant that's so famous? God said, my servant Jacob, my servant Israel, eight or nine times in that very book, Isaiah names the servant. When you ask me about Isaiah 53, and I just wrote Kosher Jesus because the Jewish community should reclaim a patriot who died for his people against the tyranny and the oppression of Rome. But when I read Isaiah 53, it can't be Jesus for the reason you just said. I'm surprised your father didn't catch it, Sid. Like a lamb to the slaughter, he opened not his mouth. Jesus says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That's in Matthew and in Mark. My God. My God, why have you forsaken me? He also says it is done. He opens his mouth. It also says, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. Jesus had no seed. He had no children. And he died at about 33. I think this is speaking about Abraham Lincoln. I think it's speaking about Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King was the greatest American of the 20th century. Is there anyone who suffered the iniquity of the American people more than him? And he did see his seed. He suffered the racism of Americans and a white racist who put a bullet through his neck. Why isn't it Martin Luther? The point is, many people have suffered. Here's the blessing. You're a Zerah. You will have children. And Zerah means physical seed. It never means some kind of spiritual seed. It means you're going to have children. But Zerah means seed, offspring, physical, biological. 